What's up with it, y'all? It's your girl, Melanetti B. Central, and I just wanted to tap in real quick to my divine beings. I got a quick little message for you. I have a very quick message for you, collective. Okay, so first and foremost, y'all know we are in a new season. We are in an energetic shift to where the people who have actually done the work and um, have evolved and elevated mentally, emotionally, spiritually, um, you have cut out toxic people, places, and things. You have asked the Most High God to come in and heal, transform your mind, heart, and your soul so that you can be who you were created to be, who you were destined to be, collective. Um, there is an energetic shift happening right now, and people, places, and things are being put in alignment for our growth, for our, our elevation. You are receiving new offers, business offers, love offers, uh, collaboration offers. Now, although some of the offers are good and um, pure, and then some of them are not, you have to use your discernment with people because depending on what lane you're in, uh, it's a very... It's like a very lustful energy. There's a, there's a very strong energetic spirit of lust. So it's like the people who may want to help you could be in a lustful energy. I don't know if it's because this is how they get down. This is how they do business. Or these are just people who know what they like and what they want and what they desire. And if they help you, you know what I'm saying? They expect you to cooperate with certain things. Now, um, at this point, I'm just going to urge you and suggest that you stand in your integrity Stand in your dignity because anything that's sent by the Most High God will not require you to compromise anything. Your self-worth, your self-esteem, your, your, your integrity, anything sent by God is not going to make you uncomfortable. Anything sent by God is not going to make you feel like you have to get, you know what I'm saying? And I'm not saying that this is what's happening to you or me collective. I'm just telling you to use your discernment with some of these offers. If you're somebody who has a history and a past in a particular area or lane and you're in a new season and you come across people who can help you, but you know what I'm saying? They have these, these qualities about them that remind you and trigger you of your past. It's not to say you can't work with them. You just need to stand in your, stand your ground, be assertive and set boundaries. I feel like um, you should have faith in God, which means the people that he sends to you or allows you to connect with, yes, they can help you in some way. Y'all can help each other in some way. Um, Y'all can get money together. Y'all can just do a lot of different things, create and everything. But you, collective, you need to stand your ground when it comes to your esteem, your integrity, your dignity, pride, what you have pride for. Because as I said before, if it's truly from God, because your life is surrendered unto the most high, if it's truly from God, it's going to be somebody who just believes in you, who is willing to go the distance, just like you're willing to go the distance, to build and to evolve and to create and to manifest and to make money and all that. You know what I'm saying? If you feel pressured or you feel like it's one of them situations where give a little, take a little, or you do this and I'll do, you know what I'm saying? You just going to have to use your discernment with that because everybody's grown. And, you know, sometimes when you're presented with opportunities, you you do get into a place and space where you like, man, it's not so bad. I mean, you know, with niggas is grown out here or, you know what I'm saying? Like, Sometimes you'll be put in a position where you do have to think, but if you are true to who you are and how far you've come and the God that you serve that has transformed your life, you're not going to settle for less. Every All money ain't good money. All attention ain't good attention. But at the same time, you can use the situation for to your advantage. You can get, you can still use it as a stepping stone. You don't want to frown upon any opportunity because everybody has something to offer and God don't make no mistakes. Sometimes it's just a test to see how much you're willing to compromise or how much faith you truly have in the divine. You know what I'm saying? And for the grown folks who do choose to do whatever they got to do for whatever opportunity, I ain't judging them either. It's just, that's their path. You know, maybe they feel like that's what's needed. They don't have that faith in God to meet that one individual that will believe in you and invest in you and literally see your vision and your dream to the point where they, you know, they connect with you, they resonate with your energy, they can feel the vibration that you're on, they see it in you. See, you're going to come across people, this is how you know the godly people, you're going to come, come across people who, yes, you may be desirable, because if you're dealing with a man, 
men are desired men desire women they are attracted by women i mean a lot of females i feel like we need to start understanding that it don't matter what their status is or how what partnerships they're in if you are attractive and your light shines real bright you are going to attract people physically as well it's like we are so we are so naive sometimes like oh my god i'm so happy i love everybody i want to help i'm so gifted but we think that we're not going to attract people <laughs> and then we feel a certain type of way or we don't know how to handle the situation because we like okay well i mean i'm in a situation i'm trying to be the purest mo my most purest self but here I am, you know, so you just got to know that you are beautiful inside and out and people are attracted to you. Of course, they're attracted to your inner beauty, but they're also attracted to your outer beauty. That don't mean they're perverse. That don't mean they're weird. That don't mean nothing. That means the, these people are grown. These people know what they like and they like what they see. So, you know, respect that and don't look at it in a in a derogatory way because it doesn't have to be like that. <laughs> But at the same time, again, collective, make sure you are setting boundaries. Anybody who has a problem with you setting boundaries, that's not the person for you to work with because people like to control things. People that know that they have what you need or they have something that can help you get further, they've been hurt too and screwed over too, probably more than you, you know what I'm saying? Or whatever the case. So it's like that folks don't want to just put everything on the line and not really get what they truly want if there is something that they truly want because I feel like it's time out for the people it's like if you're not really truly consecrating yourself and praying and getting yourself together specifically asking God to send you people with pure intentions people who will not put you in a position to have to compromise your self-esteem your worth just to get ahead or just to get um, a leg up, you have to be specific when it comes to that. And then when you do get sent somebody, that doesn't mean that they're a horrible person. That means that God chose them. Everything is a test for them and you. And if they are coming in that energy, your light is going to trigger something in them. They will respect you and really appreciate you if you stand your ground and be respectful about how you feel. You know what I'm saying? It's going to trigger something in them, even if they were trying to come like that. They're going to be like, well, damn, I can't do that with this one. This one, she ain't playing. She, not not in an intimidating way, but just, you know, people, it just takes, sometimes it takes some specific energy for certain individuals that are in powerful positions to truly understand the presence of God and that everybody ain't to be played with. Because one thing I do know is that people that think they can try to get over on me or lure me in in a lustful way and play with my gifts and talents and play with the opportunities that can help me with God don't God don't play about me he does not play about me if any <clears throat> anybody ever thought that they was going to come into my life and try to trap me because they know my situation or they know what I need and they know but they got the means to take me far but they want to use certain little nah God ain't he gonna get on their ass he don't play that the God I serve do not play about me I'm too humble you know what I'm saying? I'm too loving. I'm too generous. I'm too giving. I'm too creative and purposeful for people to play me like that and God not deal with them in whatever way that looks like. So I, I really urge and warn people not to play with me and just respect me for who I am and I respect you for who you are. I'm that person that's going to make you learn discipline. I'm that person that's going to make you understand that, yeah, you powerful, you do got it, you handsome, you look good, you got it going on, you can put people in positions, but you're going to respect me. You're going to respect God. You're going to learn that you can't have people, places, and things the way you want it all the time. You're going to learn that sometimes people come into your life for a reason, some for a season, and some for a lifetime. It's not up to you to try to control that reason. If you truly believe in God and feel like he saved you from many different things, people, places, and things, then you need to understand that everybody he sends in your life isn't to be played with, isn't to be manipulated, isn't to be controlled, isn't to be backed into a corner, isn't to be dangled or strung along. There are some people that are so pure and so righteous and so loving and so generous that they deserve to be blessed. They deserve to be catapulted into the next level. They've been through so much shit, overcome so much shit, still got love in their heart, still out here trying to help the masses, still out here trying to enlighten people and speak the truth and heal with their words, their hands, their gifts, their resources. Those people deserve to be elevated. 
The Bible says that the first shall be last and the last shall be first. Those who are in this generation that have tapped into who they truly are and they are capitalizing on different areas of their life where they could find themselves prospering off their gifts and talents. God is putting them people in the forefront. He's, he's aligning them with powerful people that can actually catapult them into their next level. But there has to be a level of discipline. There has to be a level of trust. There has to be a level of dignity and pride. If you want people to respect God, if you want people to respect the, the blueprint, you got to stand in your power and stop compromising yourself collective. Continue to pray for your, the connections that you're in. Prayer changes things. God is all powerful. He runs this thing. Okay. So yes, this is not to attack anybody or to judge or assume anything. This is just me speaking big old factor rules. I know sometimes it cuts like a double-edged sword, but hey, that's what the Bible says. Truth really cuts like a double-edged sword. It goes into the flesh and it can even penetrate the bone and the spirit. I would rather be afraid of someone who can kill the body and the spirit, not just somebody who can kill the flesh. The God I serve, he's all powerful. He can, he can penetrate the body and your spirit. I don't care what position you have. If you're an undercover cop, if you're a private investigator, if you're a lawyer, if you're a part of SWAT, I don't care. You better be careful abusing your power because the God I serve checks any and every body. Your position don't mean nothing to the most high God. So please do not abuse your power. If you're in a position of power, you need to be looking for a way to bring justice to the people who need it. Y'all need to put y'all little horny ass feelings to the side and listen to what thus saith the Lord. Put your pride and ego to the side and do the right thing. If you have the means and resources to take a, a very serious, dedicated soul to the next level, because everybody ain't like that. There's only 144,000 of us that's serious and that have the potential to go far. We are the ones who are be put, being put in the forefront. But if you think you're going to come into my life and control what I got going on because this is what you've been doing or this is what you used to doing or because you know you got the means to do that, you got, you got a rude awakening coming. The next, the series of your life is going to be so different. There ain't nothing that a handcuff, that a judge, that a, that a phone tap, that a hack can change when you decide to, to come for a chosen one. Yo, the series of your life will change. And there's nothing that your power on earth can do about it. So I suggest you be mindful before you think you can abuse your power when it comes to me. Now, I'm humble. I'm willing to work. I'm willing to compromise. I'm very understanding. I'm willing to listen and learn. Let's get this money. Let's grow. Let's evolve. Let's elevate. Let's listen to each other. Ain't nobody better than the other. No big eyes, no little U's over here. I don't care what your race is, who you know, how much money you got, where you live. I don't care about none of that. Because if you can't touch me with your hands and heal me of my sickness and disease, what are you really talking about, though? Powerful people in government positions thinking they better than the Messiah, thinking they more powerful than the Messiah. Can you, can you heal my body right now? Can you give me a touch? I mean, you might be able to get me to meet a celebrity, but can you touch me and heal me? Can you raise the dead? Can you breathe on somebody and bring them back? Stop playing with me. Then that means you ain't powerful enough to step to me. Stop playing with me. This is how I step to these government officials that think they're doing something gang stalking and planting hidden cameras up in people's houses and stealing people's inheritance. Tapping people's phones, watching people. Putting people in compromising positions, but not really helping them. Getting information from them, watching their pages, watching God move through them. Gathering information, but not bringing justice to the situation, which is why people are sick, which is why their families are sick, which is why they're stagnant, miserable, and not truly happy. Okay? The first shall be last and the last shall be first. Stop playing with God and his people. Do the right thing. Everybody needs to do the right thing. In this season, it don't matter what your position is. You will be brought down. As above, so below. Hallelujah. I say, I say, let it be. You feel me? I love you guys. 
be discerning, be mindful, keep your head up, and be respectful. Straight like that. Shalom.